Ah, uh, finally, some good f***ing food. Today it is finally time to jump into Stella Booba. I am very excited. I am hyped to actually finally see what the game is like just in regards to its combat system, in regards to just the gameplay, how it feels. I've been seeing nothing but praise towards the game uh, so far over on social media, so... That gets me excited, you know, Stellar Blade isn't just an eye candy show, it actually does come with some competent gameplay. Give me just one sec to get the excitement jitters out. <laughs> PlayStation 5 anime hack and slash 3D smack em up sexy lady video game. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Ready to play video game. Alright, so because I got baboon nipples, I'm gonna be playing on normal mode. No story mode for this seasoned veteran pro gamer. Transmitting final briefing. Oh, we're just going from the main menu to the game just like that. I like that. That's smooth. Ooh, that's smooth. Okay, we got a lot of space dildos. I'm assuming these are the ships that the, uh, the Air Force squad come from. Pretty looking dildos. Damn. Whoever's down there definitely doesn't want them, uh, dropping off, I don't know, a pecan pie to say, Hi, neighbor, how you going? So that must be us in that part. It's like a Halo 3 ODST. They all dying? So long as we live. That's the main point. So long as we're safe. Door opening, quick time event. The mechanism's jammed. We need some CRC. Alright, don't worry, Taki got us. Ah! Oh. Look at the lips on that thing. Okay, just, just real quick. The music, so good. It's the uh, composer of Nier Automata and Nier Replicant. It's not actually him composing this though, uh, it's more of his company, but very reminiscent to that of the Nier soundtrack for sure. Alright, so we got our quick attacks, and then I'm assuming triangle is our heavy attacks. Oh, disgusting. L1 for guard, you guys know I'm not going to be using that at all. Oh, I like how they all get sliced and all this ketchup comes splurting out. I'm just gonna look at the display settings right here. So we have balanced, performance, and resolution. Balanced is more of like an in-between sweet spot of you got a bit of resolution going on there as well as a slightly higher frame rate than that of 30 from what I've seen. But I am definitely gonna go for performance. Her sword is actually her hairpin. That is so cool. So game is gorgeous, just straight off the bat, like, game is gorgeous. We already knew that though, from all the footage and stuff that we've seen so far, but game is gorgeous. I want to put it between two bits of bread and eat it. Okay, yeah, there is a jump button. I mean, I, I feel like that kind of comes expected with an action game, but like, I don't know, some action games don't have jump buttons. There is a jump button. Oh my, okay. She just became an alien kebab. Righto, mate. What do you got? Ooh. I told you guys I wasn't gonna block, but that actually felt really good. I don't know, maybe this game is gonna be the exception where I start blocking. Oh, that feels so good! Great. That's good. Look, leave me alone. I know, I just activated an ability and I'm like, Oh my god! Ability is so cool and flashy and feels so nice! I don't know though, I'm liking the combat system so far. Uh, I, I'm only like two minutes in, but, but still. It feels good. And that's the main part. A lot of people are like, oh, the only reason why people are going to play is because she's got a nice ass. The good thing is, like, near Automata, it's so much more than just attractive characters. From at least what we're seeing so far, anyway. Hold to rush. Ah! Don't leave me, mum. I've got an alien in front of me wanting to give me a foot massage, and not the good kind of foot massage. Ooh. Look, I don't know. I'm probably in honeymoon phase, but this is some of the best, like, blocking... Um, I think I've felt in an action game. It just, it feels so good. And that little, like, slow-mo effects that happens when you pull off a block. Oh! <laughs> Damn, look at that waving tree in the wind. And the, 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 the rocks coming down and the spaceship that almost flattened me. That's definitely what I'm gawking over as of right now. Rough, dude. Sucks to be you. So we got big, scary, alien, uh, bulbous nutsack man here. No, not Marianne. Don't, don't you get, not, not, me. Well, okay, that'll, that'll get the job done. Alien's not dead, though. <laughs> There's no way. God damn, look at the details on Eve's clothes. Like, that little plastic part with, with the tassels that are hanging off. This looks, life looks so good. 
Nice. We haven't completed our mission. Exactly, right? You ain't gonna get paid if you don't finish the job. We need to get our weekly bonus. Just casually dragging her long ass ponytail on the dirt. Girl, I hope you have some good shampoo. Because after this job, that is gonna be stanky. First little boss encounter. Let's see what he can do. Oh my god, okay. So long as Tacky's got aggro. Giving him a nice little uh, booty massage. Ooh, okay, ouch, ouch. Okay, now he's, he's coming from my dick. Ooh, coming from my dick. Um. Ooh, ouch, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to sip on that soup. There we go. Ooh, I like the, um, the healing animation. That is, like, slick. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, the, uh, the perfect guard. Feels so good, and I don't think that was a guardable attack right there. It is gonna take a little while to get used to the speed of the, oh my god, the speed of the dodging, because it isn't that quick. Um, Eve doesn't actually cover that much distance. Oh shit. I think, I, am I dead? No, okay, I think we did it. I had like one line of HP left. It's definitely gonna take a little while to get used to that, uh, the movement system and amongst the dodging, but it feels so good. And I've been playing for like five minutes. Ah, oh, lovely. Who's that? Is that Kenny? Kenny? Oh, look at the teeth on that thing. You can tell this one definitely does not brush every single day. That's Kenny with tits and wings. The uh, enemy designs in this game too are awesome. I believe I said this in a previous video talking about Cellar Blade, but so cool. Shift up, uh, nailed. Nailed! The enemy design so far. Oh no, that's your favorite soup drinking hand! We know that that is not the end of Tacky though. Uh, we do see her appear in another trailer. Uh, and she's got like a cool suit thing with like a skull. I don't know if she's like a bad guy by that point. But we will see more of Tacky, don't you worry. I love the atmosphere of this game so much. You know, those post-apocalyptic environments where you see like big earth cities. Uh, where nature has taken over, has reclaimed its spot. If it's done right... Oh man, it's one of my favorite aesthetics of all time. And I love that that is like the main aesthetic theme of Stellar Blade. Looks like there are quite a few different environment types as well throughout Stellar Blade, so that's good. Interesting looking shoes. Where do I get a pair of those? Oh, I love the atmosphere. Cozy. Grim and a little bit airy, but still cozy. Uh, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think we have very mild Fern physics. Just gonna put that out there. Very mild fern physics. Ooh, fast travel? So we use a phone booth to to fast travel? Good to know that there's a fast travel system. We do know that Stellar Blade is Semi-open world. So quickly just looking at the menu. This is our equipment menu right here. We've got exterior for our cosmetics uh, You can see I've got the skin suit here on because of course there's there's a skin suit um, We knew this was coming the interesting thing about the skin suit though is it basically enables a hard mode of sorts shield is disabled when you put the skin suit on I know I said I had baboon nipples, but I think I'm just gonna chuck the planet diving suit back back on um Maybe I don't have baboon nipples. I don't know. And it looks like we've got a pretty big skill tree. I think there's, what, five in total? So that's quite nice uh, for our beta skills, our normal attacks, survival. So here I'm guessing uh, like dodging, uh, blocking, different abilities to do with all of that kind of stuff. Oh, we can unlock double jump as well. I was sort of wondering about that. That is great. And I was saying that the dodging is a little bit slow and will take some getting used to. There is also a double dodge. Beautiful, bless, thank you for that. I need the double dodge. We've got a lot of different combo variations too, uh, going between the light and heavy attack prompts. So yeah, man, there is, from the seams of it, at least a bit of depth when it actually comes to the combat system. This is great, this is exactly what we were wanting. Ooh, nice, nice, very nice. R2 to acquire items. Hang on, hang on. Every game that requires you to pick up items 
should have auto pickup. This is interesting. We can change the length of Eve's ponytail. Let's go with short. And there we go. Auto loot items. Perfect. Need that on. How dare the game makes me press a button every single time I need to pick up some junk. Do it for me, game. I am lazy. This is the legion that was killed in the final war. <laughs> Check a box on his body. All right. <laughs> All right. We have password. Oh, you want me to put it in? Oh, at least you can do that. That is, that is handy. Wait, wait. Door physics. Door physics. Yeah, I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going, but we'll just go for a mosey around here. We've got little rest spots taking the view oh okay no doubt that will fill our hp hello there small one how do you do is that like a little loot goblin is it gonna what was that just Low? okay no yeah it's a loot goblin nice damn okay i was not expecting swimming in this by the way we do know that there is fishing in the game and there's even a fish category here in the bag menu so there'll be all kinds of like different fish i wonder what you can actually do with them are they used as like usable items or are they just used, like, to sell? Not too sure. But do know, there is fishing in Stellar Blade. They say that every good video game needs a fishing mini game. Kingdom Hearts 4, you know what you need to do. We're broke, so we're not buying shit. We've now got perfect dodge. Beautiful. Everything else in this game feels great, so I'm expecting the perfect dodge system to feel also very great. And I think I'll grab this counterattack right here. Uh, holding down the square button and then pressing triangle after a perfect parry, we can perform a pretty sexy move. Why not rest for a minute? Resting is part of any mission. But there's no time to waste, Adam! Fine, I'll, I'll sit down, I'll take in my surroundings, I'll have a deep and meaningful thought session. Oh, and you know, a little bit of PTSD as well. Why not? Let's add that into the uh, soup. Right, let's see if I can pull off that perfect parry attack. Okay, I need to get- get- get closer, Jared! Okay, ouch. Okay, ouch! Ow- Okay, this is it. Okay, no, the other one's got me at the same time. Okay, the other one's got me- Let's just clear some of them out. Okay, I cleared all- Damn it! Okay, this guy thing- The nice legs, though, dude. Holy shit. Boom. Boom! Oh my god. So cool. Actually, so cool. Make sure to take everything. Hoard everything. Got it. I generally do, and I just end up never using anything as well. I'm bad like that. I just can't part with it. I think I've got a problem. Be careful. Ooh. See the rapids below. Okay, a little bit of platforming. A little bit of Jack and Daxter swinging. And it all feels really good. Like, there's no jankness or anything so far. I'm honestly really impressed. Okay, that's not what we want. And don't scream too, you'll alert it. So these are the assassinations. Nice. The timing on pairing is pretty slim. One more, one more, one more. Retribution. That's a really great system because that pretty much just fully encourages either pairing or perfect dodging. Uh, furthermore than the usual stuff like, okay, you're going to avoid damage. Like, you get a really cool attack out of it. And that is a starfish alien. It looks like it wants to hug me, but not in a good way. Ooh, shit. Nice. Perfect dodging feels too good as well. So as much as this game isn't an action RPG technically, it is labeled more of an action hack and slash game. There is stuff like, you know, gear, and, uh, there are stats that do get affected by the different gear that you have. So that's kind of cool to know. This one right here, combo attack power level 2 or higher plus 14%. Oh, it, it's got the water physics as well. The game has the water. When you stand underneath the, the dripping, dropping water, it knows to be like, I'm now splashing on head. I remember when I saw this kind of tech for the first time. I think it was back like uh, Uncharted 1 or something. I was losing my mind with my child brain. Ever since experiencing that in Uncharted, I'm like, okay, I got to test this in every single game I come across. Good to know this is here. It's the attention to detail stuff, right? I eat this kind of junk up. Okay, so this is an interesting use of the yellow paint. Um, you can interact with this ledge kind of thing. So they're not actually yellow, although, okay, I guess that one up there is. But they're subtly yellow. To actually see that you can climb up certain things, you have to scan. I like that. That's kind of a workaround around the, uh, indicator type yellow paint complaint that a lot of gamers seem to have. Oh my god, is that gonna blow up? 
And the answer is yes. Yes, that's gonna blow up. It's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. Yeah. I know what that is. Yeah, the Infinity Cell, which powers entire space stations and outer civilizations beyond that of the floating rock. Yeah, but Infinity Cell. Ouch, my ass. What the f Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Okay. One more. Okay, we need to drink soup right now. Right now. Right now. There we go. Drink the soup. Okay, there are enemy jump scare things as well in this game. Um, keep that in mind. Dear Otto, mate. Come on. Come on, mate. You don't know what to do, do you? Height is your weakness. You're afraid of heights. Oh, I was wanting to do a really cool, like, down slam move. I don't know the password, man. Damn. Yo, dude, the, uh, the rain details in this game are insane, man. Like, do you, do you see the rain details, guys? The rain details! Pure insanity! Oh, I don't mind taking down 68 alien spiders. Oh, okay, the game actually wants me to take down 68 alien spiders. Let's attack the drum. Let's get away from that. Yeah, the explosions are kind of small, though. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, nice, nice. Don't underestimate things. I am noticing that, like, they, they can hit for, you know, a bit of damage here. You know, because I've got baboon nipples. It, it's nothing for the likes of myself. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was kind of fancy. This time I'm gonna go in like that. Do that. Oh, just dodge that with the uh, with the counter attack. I was meant to do that. Ooh! There we go. There we go. Follow up. Cut clean in half. That's what I wanted the first time around, but you know we got there eventually. It's gonna be guarded, right? Surely. Ooh! Oh yes, surely. I was right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Big grab attack. None of that. I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Not today. Today's your unlucky day. What are we doing here? Do we, do we just, like, Harry Potter Dementor Soul Suck that thing? Ooh, okay. So we can increase our beta skill gauge, I'm assuming, by that? Is that a secret way down there? So there's, like, multiple routes to take? Okay. Rather than doing the Jack and Daxter Swing thing, let's try this. I'm just surprised that there is, like, a little bit of platforming going on. It's kind of neat. And again, it like it works fine. It's no Crash Bandicoot or anything, but like it's it still works fine. See, we can go up there as well. There's like multiple different paths you can take. Like if I go here, wait, why would I want? Oh, okay. I was not expecting this from the level design like at all. I was expecting like the linear segments to be pretty linear. I don't know if this is gonna work. That is. Oh, we can air dash. Okay, thank. <laughs> I don't know why there's a swing pole here. It seems like you might be able to get up there, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, mate. Yep. Yep. You want me to do a big dive bomb down there? Oh my, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're, we're doing that. Oh, right, okay. You can stand on floating planks in the water. A little bit of like a Last of Us type of deal. Um, yeah, I've just been sort of swimming around for like <laughs> too long, way too long. You guys see the visual effects on that sun? Look at the sun, dude! That is a nice looking sun! Oh my God, they nailed the sun graphics! God, I love the atmosphere of this game. It is so good. Play instrument? Ought to be a library. Are these boxes displayed on the wall? Uh, Eve? Eve. Ah! Okay, that, yeah. All right, yeah. Mm, that's a, that, mm, nah. Hey, these things now have big, like, crab hands. What's, what's up with that? Is that a shield? Is this? Boom. What a finisher, man. Barnacle. <laughs> His name's Barnacle. What a barnacle head.
actually, actually, if I could get up here. Oh, look at that, I can. So it, basically any opportunity where you are above the enemy, like that, for example, you can pull off the assault attack. Very cool, I like that. Ah! In hell, dude, I honestly wasn't expecting this game to have to jump scare enemies, but it, it's got jump scare enemy. Oh, you bitch. Christ, Christ. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Knowing our luck, probably. At least we got stew. Someone, someone's just kindly left us a big pot of stew. Um... I, hey, I appreciate that. What has me, like, really impressed about this game so far, though, is this is Shift Up's very first console entry. Like, very first. They've only ever done mobile phone games. And I have to say, like, honestly, man, I am blown away that this is their first foray into the uh, console space. Kind of mind-boggling, really. Uh, amazing game so far. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, my g gorgeous. Oh, he's gorgeous. That's not an ordinary enemy. Oh, pish, pish posh, Adam. This is child's play. No worries, dude. Easy. Adam. Ugh. Yeah, get back, Adam. Let's watch her master at work. Ah! Okay, he does two attacks. Oop. Oop. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. It kind of is like a strong attack. God, the perfect f***ing blocking feels so good, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Retribution. Throwing that whole entire beast of a creature. Okay, Eve. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, get some distance. Does he have nuts? I just noticed. Are those nuts? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Gonna do jump move now, right? Jump move, jump move, jump move, jump move, jump move. No. Oh, beautiful. Easy, dude. Easy, dude! Woo! Quick time event. Hold the controller. <laughs> it's not over yet. Beautiful. All right, I guess that's the demo. I am so impressed. Like, I, I am so impressed. And I am so happy that, like, yeah, the game is more than just attractive character, right? Like, uh, no, I think Shift Up have absolutely delivered here. Visually, the game is gorgeous. Love the enemy designs. The gameplay department, though, is... It's so good. Like, it, it's a competent hack and slash action game. The, the perfect parrying, the perfect dodging, the, there's rail sliding. Um, I don't know, man. I think they've really delivered a wicked, like, first entry into the console space. And I was saying, like, uh, visuals are great, but also just general atmosphere. All of the environments look top tier. Uh, this little kind of, like, highlight reel is sort of displaying that to us. Looks like there's some really cool different locations you're going to be able to explore. Uh, I'm excited. I, I am pumped. I am pumped. I'm just so happy. It, it's like a good game. From the demo alone, we can tell good game. The only thing that's kind of like, I guess, left a question is how good is the story going to be, right? But either way, I think we can tick the, uh, the visual as well as the gameplay department. Well done, Shift Up. I think you guys have something really special right here. 26 bring it on. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on what you're currently thinking about Stellar Blade in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. However guys, check out my other social media platforms and subscribe here to TGJ to keep up with everything that's going on. Big shout out to my patrons. You guys are turkey -tastic. Thank you so much for the kind support. I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.